Hey everyone, today we're gonna be doing a late code question which is to find kth largest element in the stream. So here in this question, we need to design a class which will be finding the kth largest element in a stream. A stream you can think of as an array, like you will be getting some number to be added in a stream or array in a sequence and you need to find the kth largest at that particular time. So in this question, we need to implement two class. One is the constructor which will be receiving the size of a k like what is the kth element i need and uh, there will be some initial array you can say uh, for uh, some stream you might be having default value of like 0 to some value uh, as a initial input of uh, that stream from that stream you might be taking the kth smallest uh, or the kth largest after that like you will be getting one one element which will be appended using this add function and after appending this value, you need to return the kth largest element from the stream. Okay, so here are some example. We'll do it. Let's see the constant. They are saying k can range from 10 to the power 4, 1 to 10 to the power 4. Similarly, the number, uh, the length of that array, uh, the initial array, you can say a default uh, whatever stream we have, uh, the initial stream, it can also range from 0 to 10 to the power 4. The number inside that uh, range array or the number coming in the stream will range from minus 10 to the power 4 to plus 10 to the power 4. They are saying like it is guaranteed you will be having at least k element in order to find the kth largest element whenever you are uh, like doing some operation you need a kth largest element you will be having at least kth element. Okay so let's see with the example how we can do this thing. So in the first question, uh, in the first example, let's say uh, we have the initial array. Let's say it is like, uh, what to say like, okay, the initial size, I'll say, okay, input, input given to us is like initial, it is given three, three here is the uh, kth value. Okay, this is a kth element, like the kth largest we need. After that, we have our initial array, you can say. Okay, so I have some initial array with the element uh, 4, 5, 8 and 2, okay. So this is my initial element from the stream. So you might think this in array terms, okay. You might think this is an array, the initial array given to us. After that, you might be getting some more value. So there will be some more value coming to here uh, as a normal uh, input. Like uh, in this question, it is given 3, 5, 10, uh, 9 and 4 okay so this is a number coming in some sort of a stream okay so you might have this number initially like uh, you can say this is our stream currently you can say like uh, in here it is coming 4 5 2 after that it will be coming 3 5 10 9 4 so you can think this is some some string uh, stream you need to find the kth smallest uh, the kth largest element from this stream. So uh, here if I say the kth means here 3 that means you need to find the third largest while running in this stream. So before going to that let's take some dummy example like okay I have some array okay I have some array with element 2, 4 you can say 9, 8, 1 okay this is some element okay I need the uh, in the safer side uh, like just to be uh, we are checking the operation you can say what we are doing here so let's say like i just need the largest element from this array so what i can do like uh, i can use some sorting mechanism here so for that i will be sorting this array in the increasing order or decreasing order let's take increasing for here so i can sort this array in the increasing order it will be 1 2 4 8 and 9 now whether they ask me the kth largest or the you can say just the largest you can say uh, this is the largest element, this is the smallest element. Whenever they have asked me the largest or the smallest element in the sorted uh, array, I can find it easily. Similarly, if they have asked me the kth smallest or the largest, uh, whenever they ask me the kth uh, largest element, I can do a traversing from last and I can find the kth element. Let's take like a 3, k is 3 over here. That means this is my current uh, largest, like kth largest element in this particular array now the problem arises here like uh, this we have done like in n log n we are doing a sorting for this particular array and then we are like accessing the kth number 
so accessing is o of 1 but for sorting this array i have took like size of a array log of size okay now what is happening over here like every time whenever we are getting some value from the stream i might be appending this to my array so initial array was 2 4 now oh, let's take here so i have my initial array 2 4 9 8 1 after that my stream will be appending like 3 5 10 9 or 4 okay so after every append so initially i have taken the kth uh, largest from each, this case after that whenever i add 3 over here i will be sorting this particular thing again whenever i have 5 i will be sorting this particular complete again so like if i have added n number again from this window so for that i will be using n type uh, and the normal sorting took like n log n okay so i'm like sorting this n element again so i'm using this sorting n times again for the n coming streams for the further case so for that my space and time complexity will be going to n log n like n square n log n which is way large what we need to do we need to optimize this further so what we can do like uh, anyhow we need to use some sorting mechanism here without increasing my time complexity so okay what we can do there is one more sorting mechanism uh, like uh, you have heard of like uh, priority queue you can say mini -me, min heap or the max heap it is also a sorting mechanism but for a specific uh, you can say element and not a specific it is also uh, like using on the various number it like, depends on parameter you can use the minimum or the maximum but what is happening like uh, whenever you need the uh, let's take like this is a heap you need minimum or maximum you can get at least in the order of one and whenever you append this element it takes log of n for any insertion or deletion of element in this uh, heap so instead of taking n log n i am taking only log of n so i am just reducing my one order of n time complexity from this part so how can i use my heap over here now to be uh, like there's one more question like okay which heap i need here so let's take like i i i can create some min heap or the max heap so there's one uh, like uh, fact given to us like uh, whenever i am finding something like kth any terms you uh, you heard some kth term like uh, you need kth largest you need kth smallest what you can do let's take like uh, i need like three size uh, like the third largest so what i can do i can create a window or you can say a heap of size three okay this is a three size or you can say k size heap okay here i am not sure which one i need to choose minimum or the maximum okay i need maximum or the minimum so if you look this particular carefully so what i am doing like i am just uh, inserting this element and uh, what i am doing i just need the maximum element i will be removing the smallest element so in order to store the k largest element i am using the minimum heap why so if you look over here uh, suppose uh, i have some element like initially i have inserted 4 after that i have inserted 5 after that i have inserted 8 now which element should i remove from here so that i can append one greater element here so let's take like i was trying to append two here but two was the smallest from all of them so not required what is like it was 11 over here okay so i need to remove some element to append uh, 11 over here because my k size window is three i have three size uh, heap over here I, at max i can have three size so in order to append 11 to here I need to remove some of the minimum element okay so any minimum i element i can remove so that i can have at least three size you can say three largest element from this window so if i say if i was having 11 over here so for the first window this was the three maximum uh, like the three largest if i include this also again it was my three largest if i include this particular complete window so this is my minimum this is my minimum i can say 5 8 and 11 was the maximum for that particular case so what i will be doing okay i will be having my heap minimum heap specifically so i i will be checking if any number coming to my heap if it is uh, like if i am having the minimum heap that means in the root or you can say the, at the start of a heap the smallest element will be placed or the top of the heap 
<clears throat> you might be having only the smallest element. So I will be comparing this number with the top of the heap. Whenever the upcoming number is greater than the top of the heap, I will be removing that number and I will be appending my largest number over here. So in the heap, in the min heap, you will be having the smallest element on the top of the heap every time. So after each check, I will be removing my minimum element and I will be storing the maximum element for that case. So let me draw the code for this, uh, write the code for this. So initially what I will be having, so let's take like, let's define the size. So let's take K over here. So K is normal K. Now I have some heap. So I will be using like heap equals to what? So the complete array, the initial array, you can say in this particular case, uh, all the element here come as the heap. Okay. So uh, what I can do like I have inserted all the number as a normal heap. I can use, I can take help of a heapify function. Okay. I have some heap q, uh, heap q dot heapify. Okay. What it will be doing like it will be uh, sort like you can, uh, you can think like it is using a normal heap sort. And it will be sorting that particular thing the first the initial like very initial sort like doing the n log n sort for the very first time okay so i will be sorting this heap in the a minimum like it is a minimum heap so it will be sorting in the increasing order okay so this is our main heap created for this particular case okay now i have some element in this heap but i need my heap to be of a size k so i'll say okay if this heap size, okay, this heap size is like exceeded my heap size, uh, whatever I need the kth largest. So I'll say, okay, if this has been exceeded my kth limit, remove all the minimum elements. So I'll say, okay, heap q dot heap pop and remove from heap. That means all the minimum element will be removed till the size become k. Okay, whatever the smallest element uh, there. Uh, it will be removing one by one till my heap size will become what k okay fine so this is our case like we have created the initial heap uh, contains only the k largest element the top k element okay fine now whenever i'm doing some insertion that means i will be doing some heap pop so i'll say okay heap q dot heap pop and i will be appending something to my heap so i'll say heap dot heap push and I will be appending this particular value. Now, whenever I push my value at that particular amount of time, if my heap Q, uh, you can the size, you can say the size of a heap. I'll say okay, the size of a heap. Uh, if it exceeded uh, what? If exceeded the kth, like uh, you can say at very initial, I might have zero element in my stream, uh, this stream or the array. Some element coming the stream. Uh, it can have at least k element. So I'll say, okay, if it is exceeding the k value, okay, so if it is exceeding the k value, then I will be popping some element. Otherwise, you can simply append this thing. Uh, I need to use our push function. So I will be pushing some element to my heap as a maximum part, okay. And uh, I will be checking, okay, if it is greater, that time I will be doing a heap pop. So I will be showing a heap pop over here. So I have done heap pop. And that time, what I need to do at last, I will be returning what? A uh, element from the heap. So I'll say, okay, top of the heap. So I'll say top of the heap, or you can say this uh, in indexing, I can use in Python. So top of the heap will be returned from here as the kth largest element, okay? If I need the first largest, the, you can say the main largest element will be on the top. Uh, because we are, this is a main heap, so it will be having the smallest element. And we are having only three elements over here, the k elements over here. The smallest element will be the kth largest in this case. So let me compile this code. Let me see if it is running fine or not. So it is giving some comparison error. So it is like uh, list and int is not compared. Okay, so the size I need to compare. Size of a heap, if it is exceeding the kth limit, so if it is exceeding the kth limit, I will be removing that particular element and I will be having only the kth smallest. You can say the top three largest element in the min heap. So I will be like topping up the first element and I can see this code runs successfully. 
uh, we have compiled this code and it is bit optimized. Like uh, we have used the sorting over here, like the n login part for the first time here. Now we are appending the k element. So every time whenever this stream is coming, let's take like this stream is of size n. And each operation, either we are popping or we are appending this element. So for that also, it is taking only log of n. So in comparison, it is also taking n log n. So n log n took here uh, n plus like this is both operations are at different like this is the initial uh, size creation or you can say initial template creation and after every stream I'm getting some number I'm creating some more element in the array. So both are like uh, on a different go. So the total time complexity is n log n and uh, you can say the k log n and similarly uh, I am creating the heap of size k. So it depends like okay what is the largest size you can have i can have at least k size so space complexity will go to order of k so yeah that's all for today's uh, thanks for watching